good morning students today we are continuing the peripheral nervous system pns in which there are two types of nerves there is the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves so yesterday we have learnt about the cranial nerves there are 12 uh, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves which are named using the roman numericals 1 to cn 1 to cn 12 so 12 pairs of cranial nerves are present which are attached to the brain and hence they are called as cranial nerves they are responsible for sensory and motor functions of head and the neck region now coming to the spinal nerves the spinal nerves are about 31 pairs there are 31 pairs of spinal nerves which are associated or which are attached to the spinal cord and hence they are called spinal nerves they also contain the sensory and motor fibers together pass out between vertebrae to trunk arms and the legs the spinal nerves are of are 31 pairs eight the first one eight cervicals c1 to c8 12 thoracic t1 to t12 fayu lumbar l1 to l5 fayu cervical s1 to s5 one coccygeal uh, which is in co so hence there are 31 pairs now coming to the fluxus there are five large fluxus of mixed nerves formed on each side of the vertebral column the anterior rame unite near their regions origins to form large muscle uh, mass of nerves called flexus what are the flexus means the flexus are the nerves which unite unite together to form the large mass of nerves the at anterior rame at the anterior rame they unite near their origin to form large mass of nerves called flexus here nerve fibers are regrouped and rearranged before proceeding to supply skin bone muscles and joints hence these structures will get nerve supply from more than one spinal nerve in the thoracic region in the thoracic region the anterior rame do not form the flux t2 to t12 11 nerves t2 to t12 11 nerves they do not form the flexus they are thoracic region nerves the anterior rame of the thoracic region doesn't give the fluxus of the thoracic region supply to ribs they supply to the ribs of thoracic cavity in intercostal muscles they supply to the thoracic cavity the 11 nerves they are not form, formed by formed fluxus so hence there are five large fluxus of mixed nerves formed on each side of the vertebral column they are number 1 cervical fluxus it is composed of axons of anterior rame from spinal nerves c1 to c4 and branches into nerves supplying posterior head and neck and phrenic nerve supply supplying diaphragm so this is the first flex group of nerves cervical flex it is called as cervical flex composed of axons of anterior rame from spinal nerves c1 to c4 c1 to c4 and branches into nerves supplying posterior head and the neck phrenic nerve and diaphragm the next one is the brachial flexus brachial flexus composed of anterior rame of c5 c5 to c8 
प्लस टी वन सर्वाइकल फाइव टू सर्वाइकल एट नर्व स्पाइनल नर्व प्लस टी वन नर्व दैट इज थोरेसिक वन नर्व विच सप्लाइज टू द रेडियल नर्व एक्सलरी नर्व दैट इज द आर्म पिट नर्व एंड अलनार नर्व दैट इज द अलना बोन सो टू दिस प्लेस इट इज सप्लाइड रेडियल नर्व एक्सल नर्व टू आर्म पिट अलनार नर्व टू अलना अलनार बोन अलना बोन Now coming to the third lumbar flexus, lumbar flexus L1 to L4, L1 to L4. It is supplied to the femoral. Uh, it is formed as a femoral nerve and siphonous nerve to the anterior leg. Supplied to the anterior leg, femoral nerve and the siphonous nerve. These two they supply to the anterior leg. That is L1 to L4 nerves. Sacral flexus. The flexus, sacral flexus is made up of L4 to L5, two nerves. S1 to S4, four nerves. Total six nerves. They are coiled together to form the flexus, sacral flexus. Though this is sciatic nerve, supply to the hip joint, the tibial and the fibular nerves, to tibia and fibula bones. Coming to the last one, that is the coccygeal flux, which is made up of S5 to coccygeo, S5 plus cgeo, part of S4. That is three spinal nerves are there: S5 nerve, coccygeal nerve, and the part of the S4 nerve. So three nerves they comprise the coccygeal fluxes. This supplies to the skin around the coccyx and the anal area. coccyx and the anal area the last one that is the autonomic nervous system ans autonomic nervous system the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system and the third one is the autonomic nervous system ans ans the autonomic nervous system is also called as involuntary nervous system which controls the movements of involuntary muscles and secretions of the gland it is these nerves there are uh, ans autonomic nerves they are also called as involuntary nervous system involuntary nerves because they control the movement of the involuntary muscles and as well as the secretions of the glands hence they are called involuntary nerves coming to the next point it is the part of the nervous system that consist the visceral functions of the body such as arterial pressure gastrointestinal movements and secretions urinary bladder emptying sweating body temperature so almost all these activities are controlled by this nervous system ans ans controls the visceral functions like arterial pressure gastrointestinal movements secretions urinary bladder uh, processes sweating body temperature all these vital processes visceral processes are controlled by these nerves that are autonomic nervous nerves coming to the next point the ans is activated mainly by centers located in spinal cord brain stem spinal cord and the brain stem the autonomic nervous system is activated mainly by the centers present in the brain and the brain stem the brain stem is made up of mid brain pons veroli and medulla oblongata the mid brain pons and the medulla together form the brain stem so the spinal cord and the brain stem have the centers which activate these autonomic nerves the sensory signals from the visceral 
organs enter the above mentioned centers and these centers in turn transmit appropriate reflexes back to the visceral organs to control their activities through autonomic nervous system so this system is very important for the visceral functions and it is present in the visceral region the autonomic nervous system consists of a double set of nerves sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves the autonomic nervous system contains contains two types of two sets double sets of nerves they are one sympathetic second one parasympathetic nerves which supply the voluntary muscles of the visceral organs and the skin they are supplied to the involuntary muscles sorry involuntary not voluntary they supply to the involuntary muscles of the visceral organs and the skin these sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves which are the uh, important nerves of the autonomic nervous system coming to the sympathetic that is thoraco lumbar outflows they come out through the thoraco lumbar region so hence they are called as outflows of thoraco lumbar thoraco lumbar sympathetic or thoraco lumbar outflows point number 1 the sympathetic nerves arise from the double chain of ganglia collection of nerve cells is nothing but the ganglia and these double chain ganglia they give rise to the sympathetic nerves located on one uh, located one on each side of the vertebral column that is the vc so the vertebral column on each side there are ganglia which are double chained and from this ganglia the sympathetic nerve arises from which the nerves enter uh, from which the nerve extend to different parts of the organs from which they extend to different parts next point the sympathetic system is in between spinal segment of thoracic region from t1 and extends up to the lumbar levels that is up to l2 hence it is called thoracico lumbar outflow so this sympathetic system extends from t1 to l2 t1 that is thoracic uh, region complete thoracic region t1 to t12 plus l2 l1 to l2 hence it is called as thoracico lumbar outflow the sympathetic pathway is composed of two fibers pre ganglionic nerves and post ganglionic nerves sympathetic pathway is composed of two fibers para pre ganglionic nerve and the post ganglionic nerve the cell body of the pre ganglionic nerve lies in the lateral horn of gray matter of spinal cord and the fibers pass through the ventral nerve root into the spinal nerve immediately after the spinal nerve leaves the spinal cord the pre ganglionic sympathetic fiber leaves the nerve and passes through into the ganglia of sympathetic chain so this you will be uh, i will explain this one uh, everything i am explaining this one but it when it you go through the uh, notes with the figures then it will be clear to you people so please go through the notes which i have given please go through the notes which i have given and then only will understand everything so i am explaining now i cannot draw the figures here but uh, simply i can explain but you have to go through the notes then only you will be understanding this one next immediately after the spinal nerve leaves the spinal cord the pre ganglionic sympathetic fiber leaves the nerve and passes through into the ganglia of sympathetic chain 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एसिटाइल कोलिन इज द नर्व ट्रांसमीटर एट सिंपेथेटिक गैंग्लिया सो द सिंपेथेटिक गैंग्लिया इन द सिंपेथेटिक गैंग्लिया रिमेंबर दिस वेरी मच इन द सिंपेथेटिक गैंग्लिया द एसिटाइल कोलिन केमिकल इज द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर द एसिटाइल कोलिन सिक्रीशन और द एंजाइम सॉरी हारमोन इज द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर सो न्यूरो ऑल द ट्रांसमीटर्स न्यूरल ट्रांसमीटर्स टेक प्लेस थ्रू दिस एसिटाइल कोलिन सब्सटेंस प्रेजेंट इन द सिंपेथेटिक गैंग्लिया द सेल बॉडी ऑफ द पोस्ट गैंग्लियोनिक नर्व सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन पोस्ट गैंग्लियोनिक नर्व the cell body of the post ganglionic nerve lies in the sympathetic chain ganglion and terminate in the organ or tissue and nor adrenaline that is nor epinephrine nor adrenaline is the neurotransmitter at post ganglionic nerve at the post ganglionic nerve the nor epinephrine or the nor adrenaline nor adrenaline hormone produced by the adrenal gland and this hormone is the neurotransmitter of the post ganglionic neuron pre ganglionic neuron neurotransmitter is acetylcholine whereas the noradrenaline is the neurotransmitter of the post ganglionic neuron coming to the distribution of sympathetic nerve is as follows the sympathetic nerve distribution is as follows first one t1 is to head number 2 t2 to the neck t3 to t6 t3 4 5 6 to the thorax then fourth one t7 to t11 abdomen then t12 to T12 and L1, L2 to the legs. So these are the distribution of the sympathetic nerve. The T1 sympathetic nerve supplies to the head. T2 supply to the neck. T3, T4, T5, T6 up to T6. T3 to T6 nerves supply to the thoracic region. Then T7 to T11, they all supply to the abdomen. then the last one fifth one t12 and l1 and l2 nerves supply sympathetic nerve supply to the legs these are the distribution of the sympathetic nerves coming to the parasympathetic parasympathetic nerves they are also called as cranio sacral cranio sacral outflows cranio sacral outflows the parasympathetic fibers originate in the central nervous system cns these originate in the central nervous system through cranial nerves 3rd 7th 9th and 10th and also through s2 s3 and s4 sacral nerves so these parasympathetic nerves they take their origin from the cranial as well as the sacral sacral region so hence they are called cranio sacral outflow nerves outflow nerves parasympathetic nerves so they take their origin from cns that is third seventh ninth and tenth cranial nerves and also s2 s3 and s4 sacral nerves about 70 75% of all parasympathetic nerves are in the vagus nerves about 75% means maximum number of parasympathetic nerves are present in the vagus nerve vagus nerves next point the distribution of the parasympathetic nerves is as follows vagus nerves the vagus nerve supply to heart lungs esophagus stomach small and large intestine liver gall bladder pancreas that is the complete digestive system and the digestive glands that is the first one vagus nerve the vagus nerve is made up of 75% of parasympathetic nerves hence the vagus nerve is supplied to the heart lungs esophagus stomach 
small intestine, large intestine and gallbladder and pancreas. So into all these organs it is supplied. Now the second one is the third cranial nerve. Third cranial nerve. The third cranial nerve is supplied to the sphincter papillae and ciliary muscles of the eye. Sphincter papillae and ciliary muscles of the eye. The seventh cranial nerve is supplied to the lacrimal, nasal, submandibular and sublingual glands. So this seventh cranial nerve is supplied to the lacrimal that is the uh, uh, gland present in the eye responsible for the uh, tears secretion. Then nasal, submandibular and lingual glands. Sublingual glands. Then ninth cranial nerve supplied to the parotid gland. Then the sacral PNS that is S2, S3 and S4 S2, S3 and S4 pelvic region descending colon rectum, urinary bladder uterus and external genital organs to all these organs these S2, S3, S4 parasympathetic nerves are supplied which are called sacral PNS so these parasympathetic nerves are of five types the first one is the vagus second is third cranial third is seventh cranial fourth is ninth cranial fifth is sacral that is s2 s3 and s4 so all these are the parasympathetic nerves so sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves contain the autonomous nervous system uh, atom at a, uh, autonomic nervous system so the autonomous nervous system is the last one third one the first one is the central nervous system made up of brain and spinal cord the brain and spinal cord the brain is made up of four brain mid brain and hind brain and the spinal cord then the second one is the peripheral nervous system that is pns which is made up of peripheral nerves and ganglia peripheral nerves and ganglia they are cranial nerves and the spinal nerves peripheral nerves are cranial and spinal nerves autonomic nervous system ans consists of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so these are the three divisions of the nervous system and i have explained almost all nerves uh, almost all parts of the nervous system and the divisions of the nervous system coming to the functions of autonomic nervous system functions of autonomic nervous system the two sets of nerves sympathetic and parasympathetic that is the last one we have studied just now that is the autonomic nervous system which comprises of sympathetic and parasympathetic so the two sets of nerves oppose each other in action they are opposite in their action the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic they have the opposite actions second one second point the function second function the sympathetic nerves are stimulated by emotions like fear excitement and anger the sympathetic nerves are stimulated by emotion like fear excitement and anger the third function they make the heart beat fast fast and deeper fast and deeper breathing fast heartbeat uh, heartbeat the fast heartbeat and the fast breathing rise in blood pressure and the hair stand erect the erection of the hair there will be a sweating also so they make these autonomic uh, nerves sympathetic and parasympathetic they make the heartbeat fast and breathing fast rise in the blood pressure erection of the hair and sweat production so all these functions are 
controlled by these two nerves next function at this time digestion is slowed down as the blood is diverted towards muscles to prepare for fight so during this type during this position means when they make the heartbeat fast breathing fast and all other uh, things which i have told already at that time they uh, the digestion is slowed down and the blood is diverted towards the muscles preparing for the fight the next one is the parasympathetic nerves are in control during normal quiet living during normal time these parasympathetic nerves are in control next one they slow down the heart beat and respiration and stimulate digestion and excretion so the parasympathetic nerves they work against the sympathetic that they slow down the heart beat and the respiration rate also will be slow down and they, they stimulate the digestion and excretion so the parasympathetic nerves they stimulate the digestion and the excretion so these are the functions of the autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system consists of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so this completes the nervous system so you must go through the figures in the notes and go through the notes also then only you will be understand so i explained the things now so all the types of nerves in the nervous system then brain the structure of the brain which is made up of three parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain and what are the parts of the different pa different regions fore brain uh, which consists of cerebellum uh, cerebrum and cerebrum diencephalon cerebrum and diencephalon i have explained already then mid brain consists of cerebral peduncles then tactum superior and inferior colliculis the hind brain includes cerebellum pons veroli medulla oblongata and the spinal cord so all the structures i have given all the explanations i have given the functions i have given what are the uh, Uh, parts present in the different organs of the brain so all this i have explained already and the divisions of the nervous system that is the pns cns pns and the ans so this completes the nervous system so the nervous system is completed now so next we will take up the sensory organs the sensory organs which are present in a, in the human body panchendriyagalu they are called panchendriyagalu which are nothing but the sensory organs the sensory organs of the uh, sensory organs so these sensory organs we have to learn that is the second next chapter so thank you very much for being with me and please go through again once again i will tell please go through the notes figures you draw the figures again and again and you will know everything so the, the notes is very clear point wise i have given the notes is very very clear so go through the notes thank you very much